Alright, so that looks like doo doo. What's up, dog? What up, dog? Alright, so that looks like doo doo. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna attempt number two. This time, I'm gonna do it just like a paper mache. So, I'm gonna dump this clear in that pan right there. Then, I'm gonna dip the pieces in. And hopefully it'll stick better like that. I mean, worst case, it doesn't stick. Best case, it works perfect. So I'm going to take the fender off and sand it. All right, so I got this sanded down. I got a little coat of this this um, gloss clear coat on there. It's like a latex or whatever. It's at outdoor. I'll be fine. But I just got a little some on there to be sticky. Then I'm going to do it just like paper mache. So I'm going to dip the, the ads in the clear and then we'll see what happens all right so I've got a lot of it done I think it's gonna work a lot better because it's gonna be completely throughout the uh... oh, got it it's gonna be all the way through all these layers so it's not gonna peel up from water is easy so I think I'm gonna hit down here a little more and then maybe do another one a thing down here but yeah I think this worked a lot better and then I'll be able just to oh no 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 Yeah, I think that this stuff's gonna, this worked pretty good. And then I should be able to paint it on real thick. And then, um, after I paint it on real thick, I should be able to sand it. But I don't know how that's gonna work. But I probably won't sand it for forever. I'll just paint a ton of it on and then, um, Let it glaze up a little bit, and then past that, it'll be fine. But I'll let it dry for a while, then I'll put some more on, then I'll let it dry for a while, then I'll top it, then I'll be okay. Alrighty, well I got a ton of uh, top coat on here. It's relatively dry to the touch. It's definitely got a... Uh, better coating on it but I'll probably do another I'll just probably use the rest of the uh, can once it um, I let it sit for a good while and after I get the rest of the can on it I'll um, wait till that dries again and I'll um, put it back on and I'll probably sand it in like a week or so and try and get a little smoother a little shinier but I think this stuff is going to hold up just because there should be no under to this. Like, there's not, it's just completely wet of um, the, the, the paint. So I reckon some of it will peel, but I, I really don't think it's going to because that's can't really tell but it's underneath all that is completely underneath the layer of this paint and once it's completely dry it'll be completely clear there's some like clear spots like some off-white spots but I think that looks a lot better than it did so I'm just gonna wait for it to dry then I'll probably give it an hour or two and come back and finish it off. All right, so there it is back on the car. Look at that. There's no real sun. I mean, it's got a good amount of shine to it. Yeah. Yeah, it's relatively reflective. It feels firm and it feels very smooth too. Um, in the sense that it could be sanded probably 
relatively properly and like I don't feel any bubbles at all underneath of this oh speak of the devil all right yeah there's a bubble right there that's my fault for not seeing it crap all right the whole thing is ruined right here there's nothing under there there's a big dent in there but I've got it like paper mache basically so thick on there that it's saved itself um that's it's pretty good I think this is gonna hold up much longer than the last one so I think we'll call that the the movie but um fun fun fun